On tap at Cougars Corner today, we are talking again about conference expansion and conference realignment, this time focusing on the San Diego State Aztec. It appears that San Diego State will remain in the Mountain West Conference, but the Mountain West said, not so fast, my friend. Maybe they aren't going back to the Mountain West Conference. Either way, we're going to talk about it. So pull up a chair, sit back, and relax, and enjoy this word from our sponsor. Ladies and gentlemen, this episode is brought to you by Dutch Miller Automotive where friends and family pricing means you get the best deal right up front on any new or pre-loved vehicle in stock every time. With brands like Chevrolet, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Kia, Hyundai, Ford, GMC, Buick, and Subaru, the Dutch Miller Automotive family is always growing and ready to put you in the car or truck you've been searching for. Check out our inventory across West Virginia at DutchMillerAuto.com or Come in today to the home of friends and family pricing, only at a Dutch Miller Automotive store near you. What is up, college sports fans, Big 12 fans, and fellow members of Mountaineer Nation, and welcome in to another edition of Cousins Corner. Pull that chair up and let me serve you up this shot of top-shelf college football content. Like I said in the, in the opening, we are today focusing on the San Diego State Aztecs and the situation going on between them and the Mountain West Conference. Now, we've all been hearing for weeks how San Diego State had to let the Mountain West know by June 30th whether or not they were intending to leave the league. And if they did it by June 30th, then they would pay seven, a $17 million buyout. If, if it was after June 30th, then they would have to pay a $34 million buyout in order to join the league in 2024. We don't know what's happened. San Diego State sent a letter to the Mountain West it, it kind of hinted that they would be leaving, but but they were not leaving. The Mountain West said, yeah, you're leaving. Then at, once June 30th hit, San Diego State said, no, we're not we're not leaving. We're planning to stay. And the Mountain West said, uh-uh, no, you're not. You've already told us you were leaving, and you have to pay your buyout money. What a mess this has become. San Diego State looks like they overplayed their hand here a little bit with the Mountain West Conference. So it'll be interesting to see how this all plays out. And once I go through the story here, I'll let you know here uh, near the end what I think about this situation as far as do I think San Diego State will end up going back to the Mountain West and the two parties will get this figured out. The first thing I want to touch on is the letter that San Diego State actually sent to the Mountain West Conference on June 13th. This letter was put out by Matt Brown on Twitter. Matt Brown is a publisher at Extra Points and part of the D1 Ticker family. But anyway, he put out this tweet a few days ago, but it was uh, had a copy of the letter that, the, that San Diego State sent to the Mountain West on June 13th. And here's the letter right here. It says, Dear Mountain West Conference and all members, as shared with Commissioner Navarez at our June 2023 Board of Directors meeting, this letter is to formally notice that San Diego State University intends to resign from the Mountain West Conference effective June 30th, 2024, or at an agreed-upon later date. It has been an absolute joy to collaborate and compete with each other of of the member universities. In order to exit as efficiently and fairly as possible, I would like to respectfully make the following requests for your consideration. One, discuss notice requirement. Although Mountain West Conference Bylaw 1.04a typically requires notification by June 30th of the year preceding the effective date, SDSU would like to ask for a one-month extension given unforeseen delays involving other collegiate athletic conferences beyond our control. We all know that's the Pac-12. We all know what they're talking about there. Two, discuss the exit fee. SDSU would also like to discuss the exit fee. A, with full consideration of the value added from our recent participation in the NCAA Division I basketball championship game, unit revenue from which will continue to come to the Mountain West Conference even after an SDSU exit, and which our athletics director is prepared to discuss in detail, and B, with regard to the timing of the payout, such that a four-year installment period may be considered. SDSU is honored to have been a founding member of the Mountain West Conference for 25 years. We wish to transition in a manner that is fair and equitable to all involved, recognizing that there have been unanticipated factors triggering the need for these requests. As time is of the essence, our athletics director is readily available at six, and it has his number on there, I'm not going to read that out loud. But nonetheless, there you see that was a letter penned by San Diego State to the Mountain West Conference. Now, I don't know about you, but to me, that sounds like a resignation. I mean, they literally said in the first paragraph, 
This letter is to formally notice that San Diego State intends to resign from the Mountain West Conference, effective June 30th or at an agreed-upon later date. That's a resignation. It says it right there in the letter. Well, apparently San Diego State realized that Pac-12 may not have their media deal done by June 30th, so they decided to backtrack and say, oh, no, we're not leaving the Mountain West. We're not leaving the Mountain West. Well, (laughs) here's what the Mountain West Conference had to say about it. Let's pull up this article here from Sports Illustrated talking about this situation. Now, this is an article, in, like I said, in in Fan Nation, uh, which is part of the Sports Illustrated family. It says, college football expansion. Major tension as Mountain West Conference claims SDSU left league of 17 million. College football realignment has taken an odd turn now as the Mountain West Conference claims that San Diego State actually did leave and owes an eight-figure exit fee. The latest phase of college football expansion has taken an awkward turn as San Diego State and the Mountain West Conference are in conflict as the school tries to move past its short-lived attempt to leave the league. Now, in response, the conference says the school did leave and is asking for some serious money. Mountain West officials claim that San Diego State made its departure from the league official and now owes almost $17 million, according to the San Diego Union-Tribune. The conference is already withholding a $6.6 million distribution fee from the 2022 season as part of that exit fee and is keeping SDSU officials from attending conference meetings until it, 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 it decides whether the Aztecs can be members of the conference going forward. I think that was supposed to be it decides. Meanwhile, the school says it never did actually exit the conference, is still a member, and doesn't owe a dime. This all started back in mid-June when reports emerged that San Diego State sent a letter to the Mountain West Conference announcing the school's intention to resign from the league, along with a request to extend the time needed to make the decision official in order to avoid paying an exit fee of around $34 million after June 30th. At the time, SDSU maintained that its letter was not a formal notice of resignation, but only a note that it intends to resign. Amid intense speculation that the Pac-12 was about to offer the school membership in its conference instead, although a formal invitation never came. The request for extra time likely came as the school hoped the Pac-12 would be able to clarify its media position within the next few weeks. So uh, basically, it just goes on to talk about the situation, uh, how San Diego State reversed course, and how the Mountain West is playing hardball here. Number one, the Pac-12, in my opinion, and yes, I know I'm dumping on the Pac-12 again, but the Pac-12, in my opinion, has some blame here, and here's why. Uh, now, obviously, I wasn't in the room. I haven't heard the conversation. But surely to goodness, San Diego State would not have sent that letter had the Pac-12 not told them, hey, this media deal is happening very soon. I mean, if, if, if that's not the case, if San Diego State jumped the gun and sent that letter before having that conversation with the Pac-12, then this all falls on San Diego State. And let's be honest, it mostly falls on them anyway. They, they will overplayed their hand big time. I've seen a couple different scenarios where people have compared this to. I've heard people say it's like, asking your wife if you can go or your girlfriend if you can go have a relationship with somebody else then when you see that relationship ain't gonna work out you want to come back to your wife or girlfriend and i've also heard it compared to it's like telling your employer over here and i plan on quitting my job by june 30th Uh, let me work at this other job first and then you take me back if i don't like it i mean to me that that's that's two pretty good scenarios that you could compare this to i mean it's just crazy in no way, shape, or form should San Diego State have ever sent that letter. And I know they can say all they want to, hey, it was never our intent for this to be formal resignation. You said in the letter, this is a resignation. We intend to resign. I, I don't know how else to take that. If, and the Mountain West, in my opinion, has every right to do what they're doing here. Now, is it smart for the Mountain West to do this? I don't know. And in my opinion, at the end of the day, the Mountain West will likely or, or San Diego State will likely end up going back into the Mountain West Conference because it's my opinion, and no offense to Boise State and, and the other Mountain West teams out there, but it's I'm of the opinion that San Diego State is the most valuable brand in that conference if you look across the board. I mean, they're one of the top football schools. They're the top basketball school in the league. They're in Southern California. They have one of the largest markets, if not the largest market in the conference. I, look, I haven't studied the market size and of these cities in the Mountain West, but it's got to, it has to be up there, right? So I'm not sure why Mount, the Mountain West would not want to take San Diego State back. However, 
I also don't blame the Mountain West for trying to play hardball here and get some money from San Diego State on this, or at least hold their feet to the fire and force them to do something. And if San Diego State already has one foot out the door, you know, I, I don't blame the Mountain West for doing what they're doing. And I heard uh, Aaron Torres over on the Aaron Torres podcast mention this. This could actually end up turning out well, working out well for San Diego State. Let's just say in the next couple of weeks, the Pac-12 gets their media deal done. It ends up being an attractive deal. Then, then they invite San Diego State for expansion. They, then they can go back to Mountain West and say, okay, you want to, you want to, you said we resigned by June 30th. We agree to that. We're out. Then they can go to the Pac-12. That's how I look at it. Now, there could still be some legal things to work out as far as money and that and that type of thing. But I'm of the opinion this could potentially work out better for San Diego State in the end if the Pac-12 is able to get this deal done here within the next few months or even next few weeks. Uh, but if they don't, now, if this thing would happen to linger out a year, if a year goes by and they still don't have a deal done, then San Diego State does not have a conference to play in unless the Mountain West lets them back in. But if I'm the Mountain West, do I let them back in without making them pay something? Maybe that six point six million dollars is is at least a, a penalty for what they did to you for for pulling your chain and jerking you around like they did. I don't know. It'll it'll be interesting to see how it all plays out. I want to hear your opinion on this. Who's this corner family? Let me know in the comment section. What do you think about this whole fiasco with San Diego State and the Mountain West Conference? Do you think at the end of the day, San Diego State will end up back in the Mountain West? Do you think they will end up in the Pac-12 by 2024? I want to hear your thoughts in the comment section. I ask that you please support my channel here. There's a lot of ways you can do that. You can do it financially, uh, several different ways. You can go check out my merch store, get you some nice merch like this hat right here. Now, this might be hard to read because of the lighting, but this is obviously a Coos's Corner hat. It's got the American flag in the background, has a football, a couple of glasses of beer, some potato chips. Really shows your American patriotism as well as your love for football and beer if you're a beer drinker. But nonetheless, this is a, just one item I have to choose from over there. Uh, I have T-shirts, hoodies, ball, uh, coffee mugs, iPhone cases, things like that. I have several other designs as well if you don't like this one. Uh, also, you know, most of you know Paul and I have, Mountaineer Paul and I have a channel called Hoops from the Hills. So you can get you a Hoops from the Hills T-shirt over there just like the one I just showed you. So go check that out. Also in my merch store, uh, along with the other designs I mentioned. Also, guys, you can support my channel financially in other ways. There's a heart with a dollar sign in it right below this. You can hit that and make a one-time donation. It's called a Super Thanks. You can join my channel, become a channel member. There are several different perks that come with being a channel member, one of which is random member shout-outs. Right now, I'd like to give a shout-out to a couple random members, Vernon Sheldon Witter, Leo Cole, Roy Harrison, Tom Reinhart, Brad Chaney. Thank you all for your support. Thank you for being members here at Coos's Corner. Also, you can support my channel for absolutely free, guys. It's quick, it's easy, it's free. Four ways. You can hit the thumbs up button below. That helps that YouTube algorithm. So does dropping the comment that I mentioned. You can share this out with your family and friends. Tell them about me here at Coos's Corner. And last but not least, you can hit that subscribe button. It'll either be white, red, black, depending on what device you're on. Who knows what color it is these days. But hit that subscribe button. That way you'll be notified of future uploads, uh, future live streams I may do, things like that going forward. With that being said, I really appreciate your support. I really appreciate you tuning into this episode. And until the next one, you country roads.